Hello everyone, welcome back to the Amari Faber Show. Today, we're gonna to be making lemon garlic butter steak and corn on the cob. Let's get started. So you'll need sirloin steak, olive oil, minced garlic, butter, lemon, salt and pepper, thyme, and garlic salt. Okay, so first it says, okay, so, I put butter and olive oil in the skillet and then add seasonings to it and then I put salt and pepper in both sides of the steak. Okay, so I'll put salt and pepper on my steak. Not too much though. Both sides, just remember that. Put it on both sides. Now my pepper. both sides. Okay, now I'll just put in about half a stick of butter into the skillet to melt. And then I'll add my olive oil. Just a little bit of olive oil a little bit of olive oil. Make sure that to get all, that gets all over the bottom of the pan. And then I'll add my other ingredients. So just shake it around. Okay, now it says, okay. So I'm gonna put that to melt. I'm just gonna put in the corn on the cob in the instant pot. Okay, so I'm putting in about two pieces of corn. So put that in. And then you're gonna add about half a cup of water. So half a cup, and then you're gonna pour it in the bottom of the instant pot. Now you're just gonna put on the lid. Okay, um, put on the lid and then do okay. Make sure you put the top lid on ceiling. Now do manual 12 minutes. And then that will get cooked done down to perfection. Okay, the bottom is melted. Now I'll add my other seasonings for the steak. Okay, so it was time. Okay, so it's time. Put in a good amount so it all gets fully seasoned. Oh, and the steak's gonna take a while because my mom got really thick steak. It's, it's filet mignon steak, so it's gonna take a while to cook, but that's fine. Okay, now I'm just gonna add in some, I'm sorry, there's flying here guys, hold on. Okay, my God, I swear to God, I hate flies. Okay, now like a small spoonful of minced garlic. Okay, just gonna get a small spoon. Okay, so teaspoon minced garlic. Okay, it's perfect. And I'll add in a little bit of garlic salt. Okay, now I can put the steak in. Okay, six starting to cook, it's gonna be really good. Mm. Okay, yeah. 
Okay guys, steak is starting to cook, so I'll bring you back once the steak starts cooking. Okay guys, I checked on the steak and it's halfway done. Let me show you. Ooh, this looks amazing. Ooh. Okay. Just gonna cook it for like maybe three more minutes on this side and then I'll pop it in the air fryer. But first I wanna tell you how they did it on the actual recipe. Cause there's something that I did except they took more steps to do it. So they said, combine the ingredients for the marinade, olive oil in a shallow, olive oil, soy sauce, and hot sauce in a shallow plate bowl. I didn't use soy sauce or hot sauce. And then said so add steak strips into the marinade and allow to marinate in the refrigerator 30 minutes to one hour. I don't have time for that and neither do you guys. Um, and then it says, bring the steak to room temperature and heat oil in one tablespoon butter in large scale over medium high heat. I already did that. The stove is on like four to five. And then it said, reserve the juices of the marinade for later. Sear the steak strips in batches for one or two minutes each side until edges are crispy and brown. Adding extra oil if needed. Remove the steak strips in the skillet and set aside to a plate. Now that sounds more, I mean, they did all the same stuff that I did, but I don't have time to marinate it in that soy sauce and stuff, so... I just put in the butter, all the oil, minced garlic, and then like all the other seasonings, and then I just flip the steak on both sides so it all get on. And then I'll pop it in the air fryer for like 8-10 minutes, and then I'll take it out, it'll be crispy, and then I'll take out my corn. 8 more minutes for the corn, guys. One more minute in the skillet and then I'll put it in the air fryer. But the corn is gonna be amazing in the end. After I put butter on uh, all over it and then I put garlic salt on it, it'll taste amazing. Okay, pop it in the air fryer for like 10 minutes. So, air fry 10 minutes, 400 degrees. So then it'll stay juicy, but on the outside it'll be a little more crispy and tender, like I like it. Okay, six more minutes for the corn. And then I'll bring it back to take out the steak, and then I'll do the corn, show you the finished product, and wrap this video. Okay, the corn is ready, so I'll release the depressor now. Okay, I think the steak is done, but first I have to cut it to make sure. Because if it's still red and gushing blood, that's how I know it's not done yet. Okay. I don't think it is yet, bro. Please, come on. I am so hungry, guys. Nope, still red. Okay. I will keep it in here. A little bit longer, but I will take out the corn. Okay, the corn is perfect. Flies, get out. Okay, so now 
now I'll take out the plates. Okay, I gotta keep these flags away from us. Okay. So guys, just so I can, you know, butter all sides of, of the corn, I use these skewers and then I just turn it and put the butter and garlic on both sides. So I'll bring you back once I'm done with the corn, take out the steak, finish that, wrap the video. Okay guys, the chicken, I'm um, not chicken, the steak and the corn just finished, so I will add the garlic to my corn on all sides. Perfect. Now I will take out my steak. Oh my God, guys, the steak looks amazing. Ooh, that looks perfect. Okay, so, here's my st steak, my steak and my corn. Okay guys, now I'm just gonna cut a lemon. Okay, I'm just gonna cut a, a lemon. And then I will squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on my steak. Just a little bit though, not too much. Okay, that's enough. Now I'll just add a little bit more garlic on top of my steak. And now I'll try a piece. Please taste good. And here's the finished product. Thank you guys so much for watching the Amari Flavor Show. If you like this video, like this video, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. If you like to follow me on any of my platforms, they're all Amari Favors. Bye!